hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful little girl's dress it's an african print and a lace combo so if you're interested in learning how to make this please make sure that you watch till the end and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already okay so i have this kind of lace leftover fabric from my previous tutorial i have this lace and african print to recreate this style so i'll start by placing measurements on the on the upper part of the dress which is the lace so let me start placing the measurements so this is for the upper body and i have both the front and the back here what i have here is a zipper allowance for the back and the length of the upper upper part of the dress is nine and a half inches plus half inch of sewing allowance i'll be using to attach this to the lower part of the dress okay so let me start placing the measurements the shoulder measurement that i'm working with is nine inches divided by two is four and a half I'll mark my shoulder slope of half an inch I'll measure from this shoulder slope line to my round armhole measurement my round armhole is four and a half then I'll, I'll place this same four and a half here I'll place it here I'll mark five inches here and connect I'm trying not to mark too much because this is white so I'll just trace it I'll connect this line to here so I'll get the midpoint of this four and a half And I'll come in by half an inch there. I'll place a body measurement on this line. I'm working with a body measurement of 21 inches. Divided by 4 is 5 and a quarter. I'll add half an inch to that, making it 5 and a half. Then I'll add 1 inch to win allowance, making it 6 and a half. Which is just here at the edge. So to create the arm hook curve, I'll come from this shoulder slope line to this half inch and then connect to the body measurement line. I'm trying not to mark too much because this is white. So I'll just mark slightly. I'm working with a neck width of two and a quarter inches. I'll connect this to the shoulder slope line. And I'll be using a, a neck depth of 2 inches for the front and 1 inch for the back. 2 inches. One inch. It is a sleeveless dress and i'll be using this armhole for both the front and the back so i'm done marking the measure i'm done marking on the upper part what i'll do now is just to cut this out So this is the front and the back and I'll place this on lining and cut out what I need. So I'm done cutting lining for each one of them. So what I'll do now is to take this to the machine. This is the front piece. I'll join it at the neckline after which I will notch and top stitch and then I'll do the same to the back neckline. I will join at the neckline notch and top stitch and after that I'll show you what next to do okay. So I've joined the necklines for both the front and the back. And what I'll do next is to join the shoulder. So I'll place it this way. So I'll place it this way, fabric to fabric and lining to lining. 
and then I'll take this to the machine and join okay so I'll do the same to the right side and the left side and after that I'll also close the zipper side and close this side I'll cover up everywhere just all the rough edges I'll cover them up I'll cover the armhole the armhole side as well so let me just do all of that and show you how it looks so guys I've covered all the sides I've covered everywhere even the armhole so but I've not ironed it so what I'll do now is to iron it after which I'll use pin or or gather stitches to hold this zipper allowance I'll take it in and then you take the use the sewing allowance of one inch that I left to join the two sides okay so I'll do all of that and come and show you how to cut the lower part of the dress so guys for the lower part of the dress we have both African print and the lace fabric the lace fabric was gathered on the dress while the African print was pleated in form of a box pleat and it's also a high low box pleat so to get the back length of the box pleat it's 15 inches which is also the total length of the lower part of the dress it will be the same length with the gathers at the back so the back length of the box pleat is 15 inches plus one sewing allowance one inch sewing allowance equal to 16. the front length will be seven inches plus one equal to eight sewing allowance the one inch is sewing allowance and we're working with a body measurement of 21 inches okay and I want to achieve seven pleats in these 21 inches. So to know the to know the wideness of each pleat, I will divide these 21 inches by seven. 21 divided by seven is equal to three inches. So that means that three inches is the is wideness of each pleat. Okay. So that does not mean that you're going to cut three inches as the length of each pleat because these three inches when you unfold it it will not be three inches so to know the amount of fabric that will be used to achieve these three inches pleat for me it's i just triple the measurement of that is three times three that will make it nine but let me just show you how i got this nine so it will be easy for you to understand so i'll use this fabric to show you what i mean so i'll make a pleat of three inches so this pleat now is three inches so i'll mark the fact the I'll mark it three inches, the beginning of the pleat and the end of the pleat here. So this is the beginning of the pleat and this is the end of the pleat. So I'll open it up so we can know the amount of fabric that was used to form this, okay? So can you see that it is nine inches? Because the pleat usually has three layers. So the pleat usually has three layers. So the easiest way to calculate the amount of fabric that can form a pleat is just to multiply it by three because the pleat has three layers. This upper part, the middle part, and the and the last part here, okay? So let's just say that the length of the pleat is five inches. Just multiply the, the wideness of the pleat is five inches. Don't multiply that five inches by three. You will get the actual um, measurement of fabric that will form that pleat, okay? So let's continue. So if each pleat, so if each pleat gives us nine inches of fabric, that means that to achieve seven pleats, we're going to multiply this nine by seven. So nine times seven is equal to 63. So, but we're going to add one inch sewing allowance because we have zipper allowance of one inch that is on both sides of the back piece. So we're going to add one inch to that, making it 64. 64. So, we're, so because we're going to call this in form of a circle, we're going to divide this 64 by 6.28. So let me use my calculator to check this and I'll be back. So 64 divided by 6.28 is 10.1. So I'll just call it 10 inches. Okay. This will be a guide to so this will be a guide to know the amount of fabric to place on fold. So the length of the lower part of the dress, which is this 16 inches here. So 16 plus this measurement here, this 10 inches equal to 26 inches. So we're going to cut our fabric of 26 inches by 26 inches. Okay. Just in case you don't understand. This is the back length of the this is the back length because the pleats is a high low pleat so this is the back length 15 plus 1 making 16 
the front length seven plus one making eight inches this one is for sewing allowance and the body measurement you're working with is 21 inches so because we want to achieve seven pleats we divided 21 inches by seven and we got three inches which is the wideness of each pleat so and we and we calculated the wideness of each pleat the amount of fabric it would take and we got nine inches so each pleat will give us nine inches and seven pleats is equal to equal to nine inches times seven so and that gave us 63 inches we added one inch which is for the zipper allowance that we have on both sides of the back piece and we got 64 inches because we are cutting it in form of a circle we have to divide this by 6.28 which is a standard okay so we divided this by 6.28 and we got 10 inches so we added this length to the body measurement that we got earlier 16 inches that is just to get the full length of the fabric we'll be placing on fold okay so and we got 26 inches so let's start placing measurements on the fabric so the fabric i have there is 28 inches and this other side is 26 inches so we are good okay i'll start placing measurements and i'll start from this edge here so so this is 10 inches that we got as our radius so i'll mark 10 inches here but then we also need sewing allowance that we're going to use to attach this to the upper part of the dress so in order to do that i don't want to waste time by marking all of them separately i want to mark everything at once so i'll mark i'll be using half inch to attach it to the upper part of the dress so i'll mark nine and a half instead of marking 10 inches i'll mark nine and a half this is our actual measurement but i'm adding sewing allowance to it at once so i'll mark nine and a half and then the full length of the pleat is 26 inches so i'll mark 26 inches here so i'll be marking nine and a half 26 nine and a half 26 until i just mark all of it round so let me quickly do that So I've marked nine and a half by 26 inches and then I'll cut this out. So I'm done cutting and I'll turn it over to this side because I want to get rid of this place where I added fabric. So to create the high low, I'll take this place to be my front. And then I'll place the seven inches here plus the one inch, that means eight inches. I'll place eight inches here. This is eight inches. Then I'll connect from this edge down to this eight inch, okay? So now to cut this out, we're going to cut only one piece. Be careful not to cut the two piece. Leave it open here at the back part. So I'll just leave this point open. So we have created a high low effect, and now I'll set this aside. So to achieve the pleat on the upper part of the dress, I'll now be dividing that 60, 64 by 6.28 because it is not cut as a flare. Okay, so I'll just divide, I'll just multiply the pleats that is 9 times 7. I'll get 63 inches plus one, making it 64 inches. So I'll be cutting 64 inches of fabric. So the length of this pleat will be three and a half inches, three inches plus half inch sewing allowance. 